Hey everybody, and welcome back to Nightfire. When last we left off, I had kind of struggled my way through Deep Descent, because apparently there isn't a single bloody checkpoint in this mission. So, uh, so let's have another go at this one. So I'm going to make sure that I have this at the ready. There we go. You did well at Drake's training facility 007. We agree that the rockets to launch these astronauts into space are most likely harbored at Drake's missile disassembly works in the South Pacific. Again, UN what asteroid? Like, what astronauts? Perhaps your unofficial visit will reveal more. Agent McCall will provide backup. The Vanquish should provide the most discreet approach to Drake's Island. Agent McCall, if you please. We're driving there? Precisely. <laughs> Again, I'm going to need to check as to whether or not there has ever actually been a underwater car in a Bond film. So I don't think there has been. I will say that this is a really cool. Like this is a really cool set piece. We've got company, James. We should get out of the main channel. Yep. Let's dip in, up into this. Blah, 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 dip into this. Malprave Industries boat that's just here for some reason. Whoop. Careful. Don't let them spot us. Sever their communications network, 007. That will allow you to engage the enemy without raising a general alarm. Can do. Uh just gonna avoid bouncing off stuff. 007, but they'll allow you to eliminate hard to reach targets. Okay, uh, go. There we are. Keep them from radioing ahead. Where is that mini sub? There you are. Avoid those sensors, 007, and try the V12 Vanquish's remote control torpedoes. Yep, just thread the needle and bonk. So I think I figured out what the problem was when I played this last time, like why I was keep your dying so Those suddenly. Jesus. Like why I was dying so suddenly when trying to fight that submarine. I think it is a very ham-fisted instant death zone. Which I'll get into more. Once I get actually to the, uh... Oh. Well, crud. <laughs> That's okay, that is just instant death. Yeah, and again, apparently there's no checkpoints anywhere on this mission. Look for an entry point and stay clear of patrols. We've got company, James. We should get out of the main channel. So when I get to a certain bit, I did this previously, but when I get to uh, when I get to a certain bit, I'm going to exploit the fact that I am running this on an emulator. I'm just going to use save states. Your remote torpedoes aren't as powerful, 007, but they'll allow you to eliminate hard to reach targets. And bonk. That'll keep them from radioing ahead. So that was a problem that I had with a previous mission where I uh, was having to restart over and over and the checkpoints were not very good. And try the V12 Vanquish's remote control torpedoes. I always found it very strange about why um Better keep your distance, James. Those mines are nasty. I've always found it <sighs> I've always found it strange that why PS2 games in particular have this have this whole thing about checkpoint starvation. I remember like all the way back in like Jack and Daxter they had a real problem with just not giving you 
not giving you enough checkpoints where you could play for hours and lose all of it just because you misstepped and fell down a hole. Don't let them spot us. Okay. Remote torpedoes aren't as powerful, 007, but they'll allow you to eliminate hard-to-reach targets. Don't know why you would put the Battle communications node right here in the middle of the bloody um, what do you call it? Inlet pipes. I'm trying, but apparently these things are a different shape to how I thought they were. Okay. Pause. Save state. See, this is where there should be a checkpoint. Better keep your distance, James. Those mines look nasty. Yeah, apparently they are the size of a car. You know what, that's what I'm going to do, is I'm just going to use the... Whenever I feel like there should be a checkpoint in this mission, I will make a save state. M. Our worst fears are confirmed. Drake's been stockpiling nuclear missiles, not disarming them. 007. You must find a way to disable that arsenal. Cue charge online. Start. St Someone's taking shots. Right, 007. Now get out of there. Maybe you should just stop giving them to Bond. Alright, and save again. I don't know why you wouldn't put checkpoints. I wonder if maybe this was just like... Did they forget? Did they not have time? Also, I've just noticed that up at the front, you can see James is turning the uh, turning the steering wheel of the uh, of the Aston. How does he handle up and down? Like, how do you do that with a? a steering wheel. You'd need, like, a full-on thing. Whoop. And... Whoa. Don't blow myself up.
Still don't know how I destroyed all of them with a single blast last time. Oh, there's loads of fuel tanks back there. There we go. And save again. We can't allow Drake okay. nuclear subs. You must find a way to destroy them. So online. So when I hit this, it's going to spawn, yeah, big submarine up at the front there. James, that sub is blocking our access to the beach. So I think the thing is, if you try and, if you get like within a certain range of the sub, it will instant kill you. That's all I'm able to like really... Integrity critical. Critical. Cube charge online. You know what? I've got an idea. If I stay sort of back here. Let's use the remote torps. Alright. That should have softened them up. God damn it. Okay. Do not attempt to engage the submarine at all. Just repeatedly nail it with the with the remote bombs, because if it gets line of sight on you. Its torpedoes have frankly ridiculous tracking. Alright. Yeah, it's just firing one after another. Just keep nailing it with the remote torpedoes. One of these has to do it. Okay. Careful, double seven. That V twelve vanquish is very expensive. Okay, it's sunk. I'm going to just have to hope that's the end of the vehicle section. It is, thank God. There's never valet parking when you need it most. <laughs> Drives into the sea. Okay. Yish. Yeah, apparently... Yeah, if I had just managed to, like, get through that without getting sh uh, shot by that last one, I probably would have gotten the gold. Oh, well. Reward card, vanquish sub. Don't unlock anything. Defense systems. We've just immediately stole another car. 
All right. Hello. Wait, so why didn't we just keep the Vanquish then? Download code from compound. Okay. Apparently... There's only one path. Where am I meant to have downloaded the code from? Can't go that way because it's... There's a... Drop. Was there like a side thing that I missed? Oh yeah, there's a hard left there. That compound should contain a transmission to intruder on the base. Man your station. Downloading access code. Code downloaded. Well, that was easy. Some armor over here. See if there's any missiles that I can steal while I'm here. Does not look like it. Okay. Ugh. This thing steers like a tub. Ah, now the music kicks in. building these cars out of some very special uh, frictionless material. Transmitting access code. Oh, come on. Code accepted. Later, idiot. Oh, oh, I see. You have actually got to blow them up. Yes, it did say neutralised defences, didn't it? There we go. I do like how it said code accepted and then immediately spawned a rocket launcher turret. Only the best even survive around here. Gate has absolutely no right to be able to stop this vehicle. Yeah, figured that was going to happen. Why would you? Ugh. Why would you only make this vehicle one? Why would you only make this path one vehicle wide? That compound should contain a transmission dish with intruder on the base. Man your station. Oh, there's extra missiles here. It's just that the guy died on top of it last time. There we go. Go, that's him out. Downloading access code. code and downloading. pin it. Out of the way, you.
Okay. Wait. Save. I think this is probably the most I've ever had to use save states in a in a uh, stream before. What is taking shots at me? Okay. That was weird, but... Gotta approach way more cautiously. Oh. Did not mean to do that. Oh boy, that looks like a ramp. No, oh, it's just a big old arena. Missiles won't lock. Okay, so the missiles can't lock unless you're directly facing the missile launcher. But to do that, you have to come to a full and complete stop facing the launcher. Oh yeah, there's a bloody jet fighter looking thing. Also, now I'm curious, why did the game have me do all that stealthing stuff with the submarine if we're just immediately going to steal an armoured truck and raise hell? Hey there. I'm questioning... I'm questioning Bond games. Don't mind me. Oh god! I forgot there was a bridge there. Alright. Let's try it again. I'm having to kind of exploit the fact that I'm playing this on an emulator because uh, there are no checkpoints. This, this mission and the last have both had no checkpoints. So I'm, every time I feel like there should be a checkpoint, I'm just basically making one artificially. What's up here? Aha! That's handy. Oh, it's just a dead end. Dead end with some armor. I'll take it. Okay. 
And now we switch over to a weird inverse prop plane. What is going on? Where are we going? I don't understand. I don't get it. Good work so far, 007. But there are still several more sand towers along this canyon. Whoa. We have to destroy them before our forces can infiltrate the island. That bridge is Drake's primary access route across the island, 007. Bring it down. Nice. Good slow motion shot. Uh oh. Nice. So this is going much better. Could you not? I can't shoot them. <laughs> oh well, we've got the bridge, so that counts. I see the Sentinels are taking it much easier on me now. Get wrecked. And... Just explodes into a cloud of bits. Yikes. Go on, try and barnstorm me again. I'm going to dive. Hold on. Why? Why are you going to dive? Can you please just hold this thing steady so I can aim? I'm hanging by an absolute thread here. Whoa. Oh, there's a there is a machine gun. Handy. Well, considering I'm having a hard time aiming the rockets, I don't think I'm gonna do much better with the with the machine gun. Yeah, you know what? Nope. Oh, no health left. Completely out of missiles. Can't turn all the way around. 
Why would you design this plane with a gun turret that doesn't turn all the way around? Oh, for God's sake, stop! Oh. <laughs> So I made that remark in the tweet saying, hey, what do you reckon the bets are that this game's going to go completely off the rails? I'm counting on it, Allura. Come on. Like, I, I made the remark saying, hey, what do you reckon the bets are that... I'll hold them off, Allura. You find a way to disable this contraption. It's like something out of a sci-fi game. What even is going on anymore? I was entirely joking when I said, hey, what are the bets that this game's going to go completely fucking haywire in the next two hours? Wait, why did I die? God. I'll hold them off, Alora. You find a way to disable this contraption. Okay, and then flyers. I'm pretty sure that during the briefing, M said, oh yeah, the the island passed a bunch of UN safety tests. How the hell has this passed any kind of safety test? Yeah, we've just got a fucking Tau Pulse Cannon from fucking Warhammer. Okay. Whoa! That submarine just disintegrated. <laughs> oh my god. Man, did the budget drop for these last couple of missions? The wall card ultralight, which again does not unlock anything apparently. I didn't spot anything from the air that looked like a command center, James. Well, one thing we know about Drake, nothing's as it seems on the surface. Looks abandoned. All the more reason to investigate. Yeah, why the hell would Drake have abandoned structures on his own island? No reception committee. The system's active. We need a comm link. See if you can patch in. Why do I have the feeling we're about to split up again? This shaft's drawing air, and I have a good idea why. Inform MI6 of our location. I'll be in touch, Allura. Infiltrate undetected. Okay. I mean, it's not like we've been carving a bloody swath through this place the whole time. Okay, I've, I've only got the, the crossbow. Oh, 
Oh no, I do have other stuff. Here we go. Ventilation. Oh. Bond may have penetrated our security. Lock down the sector at once and deactivate all access codes but my own. Right away, Miss Ashi. I'm going to do a full sweep of this facility. Remain at your post and stay alert. Understood, Miss Ashi. Okay. James, I've hacked into the terminal and got access to their internal systems. A lot of it has been locked out, but I can access the security cameras. Kiko is our only option. She's locked out all other clearances. You'll need to find her and stay close. Balls. Cannot pick up the balls. Okay. I'm gonna try and stick to well or not I was gonna say I'm gonna try and stick to uh, try and stick to the uh, vents but all right that's him out There are cameras along that corridor, James. Watch out. That was weird. Hello? All the cameras out though. Looks like it. Hey birdies. Okay, that one's locked. Yeah, you didn't notice that. Careful, James. Those lasers will trigger the alarm. Lasers. Ah. Okay. Just got to time my way past then. Whoop. Kiko is currently in corridor A8. Okay, and whoop. Okay, so apparently the the secondary glasses ability does um have thermal vision it's just really pathetic and it's only at like spitting distance okay so i've got to find kiko to get in there that was weird aimed for that guy's head and i shot him in the leg I'm never going to catch up to her at this rate. I guess we just keep following these arrows. A16. 
have any around? All right. I'm very glad that none of these guys seem to have the presence of mind to run for the alarm. Him out. So A12, yeah, A16. James, it looks like Kiko is nearly at the control center. Hurry up. Alright, I need to get a move on. Wow, right on her ass. Timetable has been moved up. I'm placing the security system into full lockdown. Clear and seal the room. We cannot risk anyone tampering with the control settings. Too late. James, see if you can find some way to disrupt the base's security systems. Power grid. Here we go. Let's all right, let's see if I can call some Okay, so Bip. Two. So that's what the balls are. Okay. I guess I'm more used to the uh, the old time splitters frisbee. All right. Anything else I can interfere with? truly out now. Nice. And that's just gonna combust itself. Alright. Now I just need to find a way out. The guy ricocheted the bomb with his face. No on the repeater. going. Where was the big door to Delta? Oh, hello. Ah, hey! Nice one, idiot. These guys ain't smart. Somehow he's worked his way into the complex. The elite guards will hold the line. I'm going below to cut the power so he can't follow. But if Bond does reach the facility, I'll be sure to thank him for the makeover he gave me. Uh oh. Okay, can you guys like Stop for two seconds so I can get through that door, please. Here we go. God damn it. Ah! Oh, hello, gigantic tube cannon. Right, 
Are you guys fucking finished so I can please open this door? There we go, now we're talking. Lots of ammunition. All right. So now I've just got to find my way back to the uh, Delta door. Yeah, this thing's pretty ridiculous. certainly helps that all the guys around here are carrying it. Wow. That's not a grenade. That's a fucking rocket. Oh, wow. And it has thermal camera? Wow. This thing is busted. They can shoot through, but I can't. This isn't much of a contest. The next one shot. Even your last. Pain only makes me stronger, Mr. Fine. God damn it. Yeah, I wasn't gonna win I was not gonna win that fight because I just fired a rifle grenade right into my own face. Oh, really? Why are there no checkpoints in these missions? doesn't lead anywhere. Okay, let's try one of these then. What am I stuck on? Move. Didn't see this the first time through. Alright, lasers are out. That should make my job a lot easier. And then...
Nice. Okay, that should make my job a lot easier. if I can just avoid these guys. Oh yeah, I can. I can just... Yeah, if I... If I hadn't shut off the, uh, the cameras... Yeah, I'm trying, but this guy won't sit still for me long enough to shoot him. Who are you? Alright. Now I'm going to do this first, so I'm not having to do it while being shot at. James, see if you can find some way to disrupt the base's security systems. I mean, I've kind of shut down everything already, so. the whole thing just erupts. Alright, and now I'm going to force a checkpoint. Save state. There we go. Come back in, grab the ammunition so I'm maxed back out again. Maybe I should have called, killed all these guys on the way through. Looks like I've grabbed everything. Somehow he's worked his way into the complex. Alright. Force another checkpoint. 
So this is the now the third mission that has had no checkpoints in it. Reload. I think I just need to be... Whoa! I think I just need to be more aggressive with the grenades. And also try not to explode myself in the face. That guy should have been turned to dog food. There's not a whole lot of cover here. Everything's exploding. Enjoy. No. Switch to the machine gun, please. Oh, great. Going into this fight with basically no health again. Hi. Nice, got him pinned into a corner. That's how you do it. So what did I just pick up from him? Do I get his like crazy laser gun? No. Okay, please tell me this is the end of the mission, because Jesus. Find the exit to Omega Sector. dip into that uh, side area. That's completely busted. And that's just an abyssal drop into nothingness. Okay, thankfully it's giving me some health back. Ow! Since when do enemies get black grenades? That's not fair. Let's do this the manual way. Oh, 
Oh, nice. Actually, you can shoot through those windows. How the hell did he survive that? That way, that is full of lasers. Jeez, I need some armor. Ah! Ask and ye shall receive. Oh, cool, I'm not even allowed through here. Alright, guess we're opening it this way. Is anyone? Yes, they are. So fucking cautiously. Okay, okay. Oh crap. What is this? Fallout three? Friggin' grenade trap. Cover you in explosions. Another decryptor door. Oh, apparently this one's already unlocked for me. Okay, I'm going to make another save. Hello. Up. Where's the other one? I hear you. I think I'm gonna have to stick with the MP5 for a little while because oh boy these guys are just not dropping ammo and go bluey wow those things are so volatile I shot it with a crossbow and it went off Anything back here? Yes. This is probably the most uh, amount of mileage I've gotten out of the decryptor since I started playing this game. <clears throat> there we go. Back in the game. And here we go again. Who is putting all of these laser trip mines in artful positions? Ah, 
Aha. Omega Sector. That's quick water. Man, we're still going. <clears throat> My loyal associates, before we cross into the void of space, it's time to unveil the final stages of Operation Nightfire. The utter transformation of the planet you'll soon view from your shuttle windows. The communists, socialists, and fascists were predestined to fail in their efforts at globalization. The answer is sublimely simple. A corporate takeover by Phoenix International on a worldwide scale. No more national boundaries, but continent-wide regions for agriculture, industry, energy production, and research. Quarreling governments are replaced with a single board of directors. Of course, a new order will be resisted, but we have the ultimate leverage. The nuclear missiles mounted in our island grotto and controlled from an unassailable command center, the U.S. Space Defense Platform. Okay. This is questionable. See, I would have thought that it being the US space defense platform, the US would have like a nice big red button that they can hit to just turn it off. Okay. There does not appear to be anything anywhere. Where the hell am I going? Aha! Here we go. A load of water with nothing down. Alright. Yeah, a whole lot of water with nothing down here. Weird. This is the way I came in by, isn't it? Yeah. Hang on. I'm going back to that big computer room and see if I can... see if there's anything there I can interfere with. Clank, 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 clank. I'll just make sure to wear his tap shoes to work today. Buttons. Buttons? No buttons. Ah, here we go. Door unlocked. Go, on, go around. Why was that guy facing the wrong way? That was weird. This seems safe. I'm about to get scorched. Nothing back here. Oh crap. Look. 
It's gonna get warm. Ninjas. God damn it. I got ninjured. Go on, let me start again. Ow, my terrible friggin' posture again. My loyal associates, before we cross into the void of space, it's time to unveil the final stages of Operation Nightfire. The other transformation of the planet will soon view from your shuttle windows. Your communist, socialist, and fascists will be destined to fail in their efforts at globalization. The answer is sublimely simple. A corporate takeover by Phoenix. God damn it. Okay, I need to take a real quick second. Uh, I'll be back in. Oh, don't put that there. Come on, load so I can pause. There we go. Alright, I'll be right back in a moment. Okie dokie, I'm back, and I've opened the window. Loyal so, let's try this the void again. It's time to unveil the final stages of Operation Nightfire. The utter transformation of the planet you'll soon view from your shuttle windows. The communists, socialists, and fascists were predestined to fail in their efforts at globalization. Oh nice, I actually the got it. Is sublimely simple. A corporate takeover by Phoenix International on a worldwide scale. No more national boundaries, but continent-wide regions of agriculture, industry, energy production, and research. Quarreling governments are replaced with a single board of directors. Of course, our new order yeah. will be assisted, but we have the ultimate leverage. The what the? In our island Why was that on grenade mode? Unassailable command center, the U.S. space defense platform. Unfortunately, temporarily breached. Advanced armed sketch flight crews and combat shuttles are advanced entry operation. Okay. There we go, this is going much better. Grab the armor. Get the door. Okay. That was... he was quick, he was... ready to cap me as soon as he came... Yeah, they're scoring hits as soon as they come through the door. Shooting that guy and somehow it hitting the wall behind him without hitting him. another save so we are now on got how many at this point okay I guess I just have to pick wonder hang on Okay, I was hoping I could, like, disable the, the drop. give anyone who comes in here something to think about.
Nice, and they didn't go off. There we go, that's Ninja Man out. Going to assume you're coming out. Assuming she's going to come out through there. How does it feel to be beaten, James? I wouldn't know. This way out. No. There does not appear to be anything for me to interact with. Alright. Get back into here. I'm hearing, I'm hearing bullets, but I'm not seeing where they're coming from. There's no sounds there. There we go. <laughs> Drop her into the abyss instead. Did you forget? Yikes. I'm losing your signal. Are you alright? Brutal. I suppose I'm rising to the occasion. God damn it, Bond. Alright, now we just need to go after Drake himself. Ooh. <laughs> Ready for my close up. Prevent a hostile takeover of the missile defense platform and save the world. Get a load of that bucket helmet. Which draws power from the platform's core. Rather enjoyed your company, James. Do be careful. Call out. You're on a fool's errand, Mr. Bond. I've just locked the launch sequence. Nothing can stop Operation Nightfire. Not even my own death. That's a theory I mean to test. <laughs> You've already failed miserably. Tinker with my missiles if you must. It'll make a splendid target for my laser cannons. James, the missiles. You won't be able to disarm the warheads in time. Your only hope is to sabotage the launch system in some way. You'll have to disable them manually. Each launch gantry has a weak coupling that you can melt with your laser. Okay. Uh. Ah, 
here we go. I'm doing my best here. There we go. I mean, I shot the thing, so... There we go. Oh. Apparently one of them got away even though I shot it. Alright. Let's try this again. So apparently I have to shoot this thing like a whole bunch to get it to... There we go. Okay, and it turns... Got this. Working for the advancement of, of your personal profit. Unfortunately, unfortunately, Mr. Drake, you are not the queen, so there's no way that James will ever work for you. Okay, I just need a second to get this thing to friggin' cool down. one don't worry I'm well within range there we go now just to get rid of I'm sure you will desperately try oh and there goes the laser satellite Bye-bye, Drake. Did I just get instant kill? Oh, God damn it! I've got to do the whole bloody thing again now. Ass. Bah. Run a fool's errand, Mr. Bond. I'll credit you with persistence, Mr. Bond. Okay, well, at least now I know I can do it. I just need to...
There we go. After you've used all of your nukes. Missiles first. There we go. Okay, now get rid of the last couple of rockets. the last couple of rockets. Okay, now get rid of the the goon squad. Cool the laser cannon down. Just need to be ready for the rocket launcher guy. The missiles are damaging the station. It's starting to break up. James, you must hurry. The laser has gone into overload, James. Drake's lost control of it. It could blow any second. Oh yeah, it's exploding right now. Alright, and Mr. Rocket Launcher Man. There we go, that's Rocket Launcher Man down. Goodbye. And he's going to float off into eternity. Is that the end of it? I think that's the end of it. Oh god, the cloud of bits. I feel like there was meant to be a, a whole extra level there. Because Agent McCall did say, hey, there's probably still... Um, not stirred. There's probably still, like, staff, you know, NASA stuff. Hmm. Definitely stirred. Astronomers from around the globe are reporting unexpected meteor showers. Well done, 007. But I'm sure the world won't mind my taking a few days off. We'll let the autopilot be our designated driver. <laughs> so he's just going to get pissed. Oh, James. Oh, James. Da -da -da -da. The cloud of parts descended to the atmosphere. Well, that was fun. <laughs> Working for over 20 months, the team at EA Games developed James Bond 007 Nightfire. Three quarters yeah, look at those CRT monitors. England and Canada. Programmers, writers, artists, designers and animators collaborated to create an <laughs> peak the eyebrow experience fantastic so that was a lot of fun 
just kind of fell apart at the end where i'm i'm guessing like the last couple of levels were were rushed a bit mm. quarter of a million pretty sure that lady dimitrescu's ass has uh more more data points in it He's not actually Pierce Brosnan. His name is like Max Brickwell or something like that. And I think he brings a certain authenticity and, and personality to the character, just like. Okay, so this is just a whole behind-the-scenes thing. Ah, well, that was a lot of fun. Uh, final thoughts. Good fun, solid shooter. Um, a lot more interesting going on in it than uh, Agent Under Fire did. And. You know, a bit more, a bit more variety. Although, as I say, I get the feeling that um, things had to get kind of rushed, and it all fell apart towards the end. Because those last couple of levels had no checkpoints, and um, like the underground base one was crushingly linear, and the last warp mission was just uh, shooting gallery. But you know. A lot of fun. I I would definitely like <sighs> this game is a classic of the PS2 era, but not because of its uh be not because of its story, you know, not because of the single player mode. This is what basically everyone that I know who owned a PS2 owned a copy of Agent Under uh, Agent <laughs> not Agent Under Fire, Nightfire, and you know. Multiplayer parties with pizza. That that was where it at. That was where it was at. But uh, playing through these old uh, Bond games, I am very excited to see what the new one's going to look like. Because apparently the uh, apparently IO Interactive have the have the rights now, and uh, I would be very interested to see what the makers of Hitman can do with a Bond title. I assume they'd like turn the stealth down and the action up and less of a less of a emphasis on going unnoticed. And some more bombastic action. I'm very excited to see where that goes. But yeah, for now, uh we're gonna call it. This has been <laughs> this has been good fun, and uh we will be back tomorrow with the one Bond game that I haven't played, and that was From Russia With Love, which actually stars um, Sean Connery. And it's basically just like a point-for-point -point retelling of the movie, as far as I know. But uh, I will see you all then. Thank you for joining me, and James Bond will return.